and that was the beginning of the magic. I have never seen anything work so beautifully and so quickly to help young people recognize their own power to create a reality and an identity that is different from the ones they thought they had. We talk about the difference between fact and story to every young person. Shit happens to you. Okay, this is how I talk to them. You don't mind, do you, if I say shit? Shit happens to you, but then you make up a story about the shit that happened to you. You give it meaning about who you are. What if you were able to distinguish between the shit that happens to you and the story you made up, recognizing your creative genius to make up any story you wanted? Any story. Many of us as adults walk around believing things that we made up when we were three. Something happened to us in childhood and we went, oh, I know what that means about me because we're all little narcissistic toddlers, really, aren't we? And then we walk through life thinking, this is real, this is reality, this is who we are. This is why we do adult workshops as well, by the way. Because we have to realize our power to create and the power of language. This is why poetry, yes, it's because I love words, but power in words I knew, I knew in my gut when I started this could change everything, and then science told me it could change everything, so that's rather nice, you know, <laughs> got back up. Um, but just so you know, you can change your neurological pathways by choosing different words to speak about yourself and your reality. You can recognize your creative genius to say, I am. An I am that isn't dependent on your experiences or your circumstances. Can you imagine what that does for young people whose identity is steeped in the treatment they've received because of racism, in their poverty, in their sexual abuse? Young people who believe that this is who they are and only allow things that confirm that belief into their awareness. And then someone comes along and says, oh, we'll hold the faith that you are powerful beyond measure until you can hold it for yourself. Poetry does that.